The Fort Lauderdale still underwater tonight, but help is on the way. There are now over 36 pump trucks deployed across the city. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister spoke to a family, though, who can no longer live in their home. The water in Edgewood has pretty much subsided, but residents tell me just a few days ago it was waist deep. And one family tells me essentially everything they owned was destroyed, including their house. Nobody expected, nobody knew. Like, we were just in total shock. Marlise Perez's home and everything her and her family owns is in ruin after historic rainfall slammed her Edgewood neighborhood. And the water started rising up very fast, and it just started filtering through the, through the house and all through the walls and the doors and windows and everything just started going up, 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 and that was when we started to panic. Wednesday night, the water in her home was so high, Perez and her sons were forced to jump out of their kitchen window to escape. The water was like, like up to here. It's like, I didn't know if I was going to survive or not. The window, it was really high from the water, so I had to like make like a high jump, and the water was very high, and it was almost up to, up to my neck. Saturday was her family's first day back in their home, and it was overwhelming. Everything I possibly knew was just destroyed. Everything I possibly worked on was just gone. The Perez Milano family, along with their neighbors, saw some of the worst flooding in Fort Lauderdale. Saturday, city officials announced FEMA would tour the area to determine if residents would qualify for federal assistance. The city is looking for individuals that have had 36 inches of flooding on the interior of their home, on the interior. Now you may say, well, what's 36 inches? A doorknob. If you've got flooding up to the doorknob, that's a really good measure in your house of what 36 inches might look like. As cleanup continues for Perez, she hopes FEMA can provide some much needed help to her and her neighbors. I mean, I know that I have lost everything, so I'm hoping that they, that they do, uh, you know, give me some assistance. And according to the city of Fort Lauderdale, officials say that FEMA will do their first walkthrough this upcoming week. For now, reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami. Glad those people are safe. Thanks, Anna. We are now also getting a look at some of the recovery efforts in other parts of that neighborhood. Officials say of these dump trucks, they can hold up to uh, 2,000 gallons of water at once, but they do believe it's going to take some time, days even, to see the roads again in this part of town. And